What's up, everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. And today we return to the University Club of Kentucky on our Southeastern Spring Swing. Um, we're going to play the back nine for you here. If you remember, the front nine we shot a 44, didn't play very well. Um, and it's not made any easier by the fact that the very first hole on the back nine is a 457 yard par four. Really, really long. Um, and uh, so I try to give this one everything I've got. And um, I slice it a little bit off to the right. So I don't have the best angle in. I got to fade it around this tree to make it to the green. Okay. And um, honestly, with the way I was playing, I needed to pull this off. Like, because I could not take another bogey. Like, I had already put myself in a big enough hole after the front nine, so I had to make something happen. So let's see what happens here, guys. Oh, I hope that – I don't think that took enough to stop it from making it. He's on the green! Really? Yeah. Right. Talk about clutch. Oh, my gosh. We're on the green from there? Wow. I'm still amazed after that. And this happened like a week ago. Wow. Um, yeah, that was probably one of the best shots I've ever hit with the five wood. And um, it results in a two putt par. How about that? Um, so we get off to a good start. It, I mean, to be honest, that hole feels like a birdie with how long that hole is on some courses that would qualify as a par five <laughs> all right so nice off to a really line. good start now we've got a par three down nice the hill shot. here okay dart Thank right you. on the middle of the green i don't know if you saw that hit the green or not um Ready? but my goodness that flight was awesome i need to hit more irons like this into par fours as well. Oh, come on. Got a chance for a birdie here. Really slippery putt. To be honest, I'm absolutely fine with that. We're in for par. Off to the next hole. Made real short work of that one. Well done. So par, par start on the back nine. Things are looking promising. Um, let's hope it continues that way. Pretty tight par four here, 380 yards, and I hit it really, really well, right in the middle of the fairway. Um, speaking of which, um, on hole number 11, oh, like nice when I said, first. Um, if you could see the flight of the ball, good like if you could up. see it hit the good green job. or not, that's something I'm thinking about adding. I'm thinking about it adding shot tracers yeah. into my videos um so let me know if you guys are interested in that you know because i like to put updates on my score i like to put course information on there and um i just feel like if i put a tracer on there the screen i mean it would just be a little too busy you know and it would just take away from the shots that i'm hitting like because i mean that's why i post these so you guys can see my shots so let me know if you guys are interested in that or not. I'm thinking about adding it in. Um, but uh, just let let me know, all right? 13th hole. We got a turtle. Maybe it's lucky. 13. Turtle Man did not come out today, although we are in his home state. He does live in Kentucky, yep. I haven't seen Turtle Man in a while. All right. Yeah, I thought I'd show you a little bit of wildlife there. I thought that was pretty interesting. Um... All right, so we're off to the short par 413th after that par. We've made three pars in a row now. Let's see if we can keep it going. Ooh, he has snapped it over. <sighs> really? Oh, took a bad the bounce. one time. 
where I don't take driver and try to play it safe, I screw up. I am going to take an unplayable from this line. And that's where I found my ball. And hit three up to the green. So, um, after that unplayable, you know, now that I think about it, I probably should have tried to get myself in there and see if I could take a swing at it. Um, in a tournament, I definitely would have tried. Um, but then again, in my mind at the time, I was thinking, well, if I can't get a right-handed swing, now I'm risking hitting a left-handed shot, which could hit a tree and I could stay in that little wooded area or could hit me, which is a two-stroke penalty. So um, I just decided unplayable was the safer option there. So I hit a... Pitching wedge green side, and then I hit this crispy chip shot. Ooh, boy. We're in for bogey. Yeah, I made that little four-footer. Um, so, yeah, honestly, I'll take that. Pretty good bogey, to be honest. All right, so um, I think uh, we can tell. I'm playing pretty well on the back so far, so... Good stuff, and I hit a good drive here on this par 5. Now, if you remember, I'm playing the par 5s from the gold tees instead of the blue tees. So I'm playing it from all the way back on all the par 5s. and So this is one of them. So it was a pretty long hole. So I still got quite a ways in. And this fairway wood just barely gets over that creek. I must have avoided hitting a, a stone-cold top shot by maybe like an eighth of an inch. Yeah, it was... That was a little precarious there. But we get to the second fairway unscathed. Thank God. All right. So now we got a 100-yard wedge shot in. I felt pretty comfortable with this. I'll give you this right now. It's a lot better than the one I hit on number four on the first episode. So, yeah, we're on the green. Just got a pretty long putt here, though, um, about 25, 30 feet up the hill. So let's see how I do. I haven't made a birdie yet today. Let's see if we can drain this. Not my best, yeah. Still got maybe three and a half, four feet to go. So yeah, just enough meat on the bone to scare you a little bit. All right. But I make it. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, yeah. I thought I pulled it. Because I made the one on number 13, that little one that I didn't record. Um, I felt good about it, and uh, I made it. Those are the putts you really got to make. Like, if you miss those, you're in trouble. Um, all right, so we're off to a long par 3 now. And I do something really stupid on this one. I take the extra club... But as you can see, my swing was just really, really sleepy. And instead of, like, shortening my backswing, I, like, slowed the whole swing down, and it did not work out at all. So now I've got a shot out of this straight-up spinach. Got to take a Lee Trevino judo chop at it, and it actually works out really really well it was actually a really good shot yeah so yeah there was like a really big tuft of like half dead grass behind my ball that was like six inches tall so it was a really awkward lie but I managed really really well so we have this putt for par that um, it was actually a pretty difficult putt. Um, 
it broke pretty severely and I just played a little too much break on it. So you got this little four footer coming back. All right, we're three for three on the four footers. Nice. That's, I mean, that's how you break 40 on nines, guys. Um, at least part of how you do it. So, yeah. One of the reasons I'm only two over through six on this back nine. This is some pretty good golf I'm playing on the back nine, guys. Let's see if we can keep it going for the last three. Maybe a little heely that time. I'm not sure. And um, that drive was okay. I sliced it just a little bit into the right rough. This was honestly a really, really difficult shot here. I had to choke up almost to the metal on this one. I actually hit a gap wedge, um, from but it was only like 95 yards. So, yeah, it was... I didn't want to take a full swing because... I felt like if I did that, I would have to play the hill too much, and um, I just wasn't comfortable doing that. That's something else I need to work on, not fighting the hills as much whenever, like, I have a severely side hill lie like that. So, um, but my little half gap wedge shot works out pretty well. I'm on the green here for birdie again. Um, I've hit... Um, I think four out of six greens in regulation up till this point. Now five out of seven. So I rocket that putt by. So yeah, that's no good. Um, yeah, that, that was probably one of my worst putts of the day. So now we got like this little nine footer coming back. You have got to be kidding me. That's like the second gnarly lip out this round. Like, that's not even like a soft lip out. That's not like it just kind of barely nicks the edge and then just keeps rolling. Like, those were some pretty nasty lip outs um, this round. So yeah, that one definitely set me back a bit. And coming into the home stretch, um, I just remember the words of my coach, finish strong. He always tells us whenever he sees us in the last three or four holes of a tournament. Um, and um, I just tried to repeat that over and over again in my mind and um, just on these last couple holes because I really wanted to get this trip off to a good start, you know. And I had put myself in a hole on the front nine, oh, and I was getting myself out, out of it. Pretty nice. And I was almost completely out of the hole, and I would have been if not for that lip out. So I just got a little bit more work to do. So I just always was repeating that in my mind when I was playing this hole. And I hit a really, really good nine iron from a pretty bad lie. Good pace. And um, I get it on to... Um, Good putt. The fringe of the green. I hit a pretty good lag putt here. So just another little four footer. <whistles> don't scare me like that. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done to that green had that ball bounced back out of the hole. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Last hole. We're almost done. Um. Par five, so we're playing the golds on That's this one, pick. 530 yards, and I absolutely crank that drive. Um, yeah, I honestly thought there was no chance of me getting to those reads oh, on the right side of your screen, ball. and I got pretty close to them. Um, I think um, from the gold tees, because they give you a little yardage book at the clubhouse, um, bite. I think to bite. those reads bite. it said it was like 310 from the gold tees. Not bad. So I thought I had no chance of reaching those. And I hit about the best drive I've ever hit in my life. And then um, All right, I'm hyping this 
Two shots later, we got this for a birdie putt for an 82 and a 38 on the back nine. We're not going to get a 38, but we are going to get a 39. Sub 40. Awesome. From nine over on the front to three over on the back. Nice. Well, folks, that's the University Club of Kentucky. The first of three episodes in our Southeastern Spring Swing. How do you think I played today, Dad? Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Pretty bad start, but I think I pulled it together really well. Nice. The putts got you early. Yeah, I in had a couple like really. Nine. I had a couple really gnarly lip outs, let's go, let's get out and um, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, you can't control that, you know. But I'd say I played pretty well today. Played a few holes from the tips, you know, just to mix it up the par fives. I got a par on the last one. Almost got a birdie. I didn't get a birdie today. So if only the 10th hole was a par five. Oh my gosh. It felt like a birdie. I'll give you that much. Oh man. Yeah. The garage. They keep driving. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the right UK man. garage. Look at that. Yeah. I should have shown you that at the beginning guys. Well, my battery's about to die. We're going to go home, wash up, go to dinner someplace. Um, this is Buffalo Ben 15 signing off. Have a good day, everyone. So there you have it, guys. 83 from 70.7 rating, 135 slope tees. Honestly, pretty good round. Um, I was pretty proud of myself for that comeback there on the back nine. I hit six out of nine greens in regulation. Much, much better. Um, I think that's the key to make it more par, it's just hitting greens and regulation because I mean, I finished three over for the nine and I hit all but three greens and regulation. So I feel like the formula to getting more pars is hitting greens and regulation. I mean, the score and the greens and regulation percentage makes sense. So just a little thought that I had to add in there. All right, well, the next episode of the Southeastern Spring Swing Series will be at a course in North Carolina. I'm not going to tell you what course yet, but um, I guarantee that you guys are going to love it. All right, this is Buffalo Ben 15 signing off. Have a good day, everyone.